Good evening, everyone, and welcome to St. Mary's High School, where tonight the St. Mary's Rough Riders welcome in the St. Henry Redskins. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Mark Shine and our entire WSN crew. And, Mark, we take a look at these two schools. What a game they had last year. St. Henry surprised a lot of people, shut them out last year. Yeah, they did 17 to nothing. That was part of a four-game losing streak to start the season for St. Mary's, but then they got it rolling, and once they got it rolling, they were really good. They've got nine starters back on offense. This will be a challenge for St. Henry tonight. Absolutely. St. Henry, you know, Mark last year had a little momentum at the end yep. of the year. They won a couple playoff games, but this is a whole new animal this year. St. Mary's with a full season of that wing T offense. They just keep coming at you, and they rushed for 350 yards a game last year. Yeah, three really talented backs. Of course, Colton Mabry with 1458, Dominic Osborne 1258. Caleb Schmidt will be the fullback. He had 213 last year. So they have a talented running backs and a big offensive line back too. So St. Mary's will kick it off. St. Henry will take the ball back deep for the Redskins. Drew Langenkamp, number six, number 24, Danny Stammen is back deep. And they await the kick. Beautiful night for football, Mark. Week yeah, one of the is. high school football season. I just checked. It is 79 <laughs> degrees and zero wind. We'll be right around 70 when we're trying to wrap this one up this evening. Beautiful facilities yes, here sir. at St. Mary's. Been treated great all night, and we're just super excited to bring you week one of the high school football. Night two. Night two, Mark. Well, there was true. a smattering yeah. of games last night across the state of Ohio. First weekend. How's that's that? There you go. There, there you go. go. So we are underway. There's the kick as it goes back to about the 10-yard line. Stomin will take it at the 10. He'll bring it across the 20 to the 25. He's got an opening at the 30, and he's tripped up about the 33-yard line. That's where the Redskins will take over. Our officiating crew, Carl Schlegel is the referee. And then we have Jim Epperly, John Jacobs, Jake Botak, and Ben Kramer this evening, our officiating crew. Talked to Jim Epperly earlier this yep. week. He's excited about being here tonight. That's a good crew they work with. And so the St. Henry Redskins will start on offense, first and 10 from the 32-yard line. They won the toss, Danny, and chose to take the football. They, nope, want, they yeah. want to do something first with it. They'll be led on the field by quarterback Jack Hulsman, 6'2", 180-pound junior. He'll lead the troops out there tonight, and they'll go three left, and they got one receiver to the right. Hulsman looks to pass and throws to the right side, and he's got a man out there, and it goes off the fingertips. Uh, intended target was number one, Jared Neefield. Just want to get a, a five or six yards on a quick out that time. Just to stop on pattern. Just drop the football. It's a little bit thrown a little bit low. Mark, you know, you know, when you look at matchups throughout Northwest Ohio and Lima Land, you want to talk about traditions. There, there's two schools right here that have as tradition as anybody in the state of Ohio. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Both of them have multiple state championships. Well, multiple college players, yes. NFL players, just an unbelievable, you know, tradition. So St. Henry's in the gun. They'll throw to the left side. Completion out there goes across to about the 40-yard line. And in the game now at quarterback, Charlie Whirling, they're going to rotate no. quarterbacks a little bit tonight, Mark. We were, we were questioning that. They did that a year ago, so they picked up about six on that one to the 38-yard line, third and four. They did it a year ago. Both of them rushed the football a lot. Whirling had 980 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. They both played quarterback last year. Each with a different set of skills. Third and four. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 11.15 to go here in the first quarter. Third and four. Hillsman back at quarterback. Yeah, I was going to say, this is Hillsman in the gun. He's got two to the right, one to the left. He's throwing to the right side. He's got a man, and it goes off his fingertips. Boy, they were lucky that one picked off, Mark. That goes off of his shoulder pads, and that's going to make it fourth and four. The, the pass had a lot of steam on it, yes. Danny. Yeah. You know, that was one of those. All they wanted was a first down. Let's get five and, and move the sticks, and instead they're going to have to punt. In to punt for the Redskins is number 29, Owen Zimmerman, the 6'3", 200-pound junior. will punt the ball away. Back deep for the Rough Riders. Number 14, Jacob Kessler, the doing everything quarterback. I'm sure that Josh Whirling did not want to go three and out and take 56 seconds off the clock on their opening possession. You're absolutely right, Mark. First year coach, and uh, that's not what he wanted. So there's nice high spiral punt. It's going to be fielded at about the 25 by Kessler. He'll bring it up to the 30. He avoids the first guy, gets off to the left side, and he's going to be taken down at about the 33-yard line. And that's where the St. Mary's Rough Riders will take over. Mark, the Rough Riders last year, 6-3, six 6-4 and three, six and four overall. Uh, you said it earlier, a rough start, but they got it together, and boy, were they good at the end of the year. Yeah, they really were. And, and when you talk about teams who will be at the top of the Western Buckeye League this year, their name, Wapak, 
always Absolutely. come up. And uh, some, some dark horses, I guess we would say, say, to go with that, but they're always on the top of the list with those two schools. They'll be led on the field by number 14 senior quarterback Jacob Kessler, 6'1", 185-pound field general. And they're going to run the wing tee, and they're going to run it a lot, Mark. Yes, they are. There's the handoff up the left side. They'll crack the line a little bit for a gain of about three yards. Mabry that, uh, yeah, that one, yep. Colton Mabry, number 34, one of their lead backs. And they got a slew of backs, Mark. They just rush and rush and rush. You're not going to see the ball in the air a lot tonight. Well, I think Coach Fry would be happy if they didn't put the football in the air at all this evening. You know, <laughs> that's they, a great they would, point. Let, let's run those 10 and 12 and 14 play drives. Keep it on the ground. Make your defense commit to the run. And if you – yeah, you see a pop pass once in a while, perhaps, but they would love to just run over you. And Kessler goes under center. He's going to swing the ball back to the left side. They'll go left side, and nice job by the St. Henry defense as 24 Danny Stammen was really stopped there. Or excuse me, <laughs> Dominic Osborne. Yep. I read the wrong play sheet there. Dominic Osborne carried the ball for not much of a gain. He's going to bring up third and about five. Good job of closing to the short side of the field that time, and Holding him to the 42-yard line. He picked up more than I thought he did. Yeah, you see, you're right. Oh, I, I thought a pretty favorable spot. Third and one. I was, yeah. There's a handoff and right up oh. the middle. And a nice job there by number 38, Caleb Schmidt. He picks up a Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wabach, Devils, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Well, Lee's there Famous you Recipe go. Chicken. Excuse me, Dave. There you go. You got uh, three running backs on three plays. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to pound the ground all night. Love the style they do. That was really surprising, and, and, and I was taking nothing away from St. Henry last year, but shutting this team out yes. is a huge accomplishment, and, you know, St. Henry felt really good about that game. So here come the Rough Riders back in the wing tee. They'll hand the ball off up the left side and get about a gain of about two to three yards. Caleb Schmidt, the ball carrier for the Rough Riders, bring up about second and seven, 9.06 to go. One thing about a St. Mary's football game, Mark, the clock's going to keep it moving. Does. It keeps moving. We might be out of here before sundown. <laughs> well, probably not tonight, but one thing you see with St. Mary's, first of all, they control the clock and the yeah. game goes quickly, but then a lot of times they get to running clock in the second half <laughs> because right. they're so good That's offensively and so efficient. <laughs> That's probably not tonight, though. No, that's a great point. So here come the Rough Riders, second and eight from the 49-yard line right at midfield as they continue to march the ball down the field. They're going to hand the ball off to the left side, and not much doing there, and a great job by the St. Henry Redskins defense. A stout effort there by the Skins. That was Osborne. Dominic Osborne on the carry. You're going to hear those names a lot tonight. Dominic Osborne, Colton Mabry, Caleb Schmidt, that three-headed monster. They rushed for 350 yards a game last year. That was first in the WBL, and they're not going to change any stripes this year. They'll continue to run that ball. Average 28 points per game. That'll, yeah, that'll bring up a big third and seven here, Mark. And, you know, there's, there's well, advantages to running the wing tee, but, you know, third and seven is kind of a disadvantage when you're running that kind of so offense. Let's see if, if uh, full house tee, let's see if Kessler throws the football here. Yep, Kessler's going to nope. hand the ball off, and they're going to go to the left side trying to find some daylight and nothing doing. And he has stacked up number 24, Dominic Osborne, and that's going to bring up a fourth down on the other side of the field. He does get across the 50-yard line. Let's see what the Rough Riders decide to do here early in the game, 740 to go. And they it looks like they're going to bring the punt team on. Kessler has been the punter a year ago. And he's trotting back onto the field. Well, we'll he see what they do here. 34 and a half yards per punt. Should they choose to go that direction? Let's see what they do. I think they are. They're going to put him in the shotgun. And I think he's probably maybe yeah. a maybe pooch punt here from the 50. Yeah, he's going to back up and he's going to punt it. So Kessler's going to punt the ball in a high spiral up the right side as it hits at about the 15 and it's knocked down at about the 10. I thought he could have let that one go a little bit there. So that'll bring up a chance for us to thank some of our sponsors tonight. Our presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities you serve. Your bank, your way. Our Red Zone sponsor tonight is Rural First. Rural First, the leader in rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. I want to thank uh, Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies, our instant replay sponsor tonight. And Pantry Pride, our touchdown sponsor. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. So after giving up a first down, St. Henry defense stiffens up, forces a punt. Now they get the ball back on their own 12-yard line for their second possession. 
And they're going to go with uh, number 12, Charlie Whirling, in the quarterback position, Mark. So they're going to rotate those quarterbacks. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That is Hulesman again. Yeah. Hulesman fires deep down the middle of the field. They've got <laughs> Hulesman and Whirling lined up side by side. And the vantage point where we're at, I wasn't real sure who was in the quarterback position. You know, he had a guy open that time. He just overthrew him a little bit. Uh, he's got a good arm. He put sure the ball does. out there. and. Uh, hopefully the receiver could run underneath it, just let him a little bit too much. Well, Mark, look, St. Henry's got good athletes, and this is a fast turf. Anytime you can play on a turf in, in conditions like this, which is absolutely perfect for high school football. That'll bring up second and 10, 6.59 to go from the 12-yard line. So they have opened up both of their possessions but passing on first down. St. Henry in the gun. They'll hand the ball off. They'll go right side around the corner looking for a little bit of room, and he's going to be taken out of bounds. That is Drew Langenkamp, the 6'1", 185-pound sophomore who gets taken out of bounds. Great job by the defensive end from St. Mary's to keep containment there. Get to the 15-yard line. A pickup of three makes it third and seven. I'll tell you what, Caleb Turner, young – or excuse me, the – Interior lineman there for St. Mary's causing all kind of havoc. That young man is everywhere on every play. He got his hands up. He's firing his troops up. You can tell he's a leader on the field. There's your two backs side by side, Danny. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bill's <laughs> in the quarterback spot, though. Yeah, right. They'll go deep down the right side, and almost an unbelievable catch. The intended target, Mark, was Carson Herod, and he just overthrows him. And you're right, Mark. He's got a really good arm. He got his feet tangled up a little bit and couldn't jump like I think he probably can, and because of how that pass was sailed. So they've thrown four passes in their six possessions and not completed any of them. And they'll go back in pump formation, back to pump four. The Redskins is number 29, Owen Zimmerman. He is punting from the goal line with 6.47 to go. And St. Mary's will send one day deep at the 50-yard line. So they're going to get great field position. So it's a field position game right now. And anything right now that St. Mary's can get from the 50 is a plus. And they'll field it at about the 45-yard line. He's going to go across the 50. And, oh, he's taken down. Oh, good play. I was going to say there's a marker down. Uh, let's see what that is. Let's not flag. He just marked the ball. So. That's where St. Mary's will take a great job by the special teams department for St. Henry. Drew Langenkamp got down there in a hurry. Nice sure tackle did. in the open field. Played off a blocker to do so, and St. Mary's gets the ball back. And once again, St. Henry has the football for less than a minute. So a nice job there by St. Henry to contain the ball there, keeping it in good field position, but a great job by the St. Henry special teams as they get down in a hurry and make a great play. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine, Week 1, WOSN, high school football in the state of Ohio. We'll be bringing you football all year long, <laughs> and I mean that all year long. These playoffs go deep into December. Here come the Rough Riders, 638, first and 10 from the 46. They're going to hand the ball off, first man up. And not much going on, about a yard and a half, maybe two-yard gain. And that was number 34 for the Rough Riders, Colton Mabry, the 5'10", 200-pound senior running back. Well, it's obvious, you know, you know the St. Mary's offense, they're just going to run, 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 trap, sweep, dive. So far, St. Henry's done a nice job with it, though. I want to thank Layfeld Industrial Supplies and Welding with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. They are an instant replay sponsor. We'll be showing you lots of instant replays tonight. Kessler's going to hand the ball off. He'll go right oh, to the left side, room. and he's got room. There he goes, down the 40 to the 30. He's going to try to get around him, and he's taken down at about the 20-yard line. A nice run and another Lee's famous recipe. First down by number 24, Dominic Osborne. They had the whole side caved in on that the left side of the offensive formation. Great run. Saving tackle, though. To push it to the 20-yard line, yeah. that's a pickup of 33. And that puts them in the rural first red zone mark at the 20-yard line. Rural first, the leader in rural lending. Rural first can help you live closer to what matters. First and 10 from the 20-yard line, 5.41 to go. Here come the Rough Riders as they're knocking on the door. First man up, gets the ball, and he is spinning and churning. That's number 34 for the Riders, and that is Colton Mabry. And they just keep coming, Mark. They just keep hammering. I think you saw some of the power right there of Mabry at 5'10", 200 pounds. He was hit initially, made a spin move, and was able to pick up about three or four to the 16. So they are doing it by committee right now. Dominic Osborne's got 41 yards, Colton Mabry 8, Caleb Schmidt 8, and those totals are going to go up because they're just going to keep pounding that ball. And Dominic Osborne's run was 33 yards. 
So here we go, 5.04 in the first quarter. Clock's continuing to run. Here come the Riders. They'll go left side, right through the middle, and they're close. No, they're going to pick up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. And that's number 38, Caleb Schmidt. It truly is a three-headed monster, Mark. Yeah, they're just <laughs> alternating, carrying the football right now. He picked up seven that time, picks up a first down, the second on this drive. So we're going to make you hungry tonight about Lee's Famous <laughs> Recipe. They're the first down sponsor, and they keep running the ball like this. So here come the Rough Riders, 4.41 to go. First and goal from the nine-yard line. They'll go off the right side, and boy, I'll tell you what, number 34 for the Riders, Cole Mabry was hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Tried to go off the right tackle formation. Defense played it very, very well. Big number 79 was in there. That's a Henry Putoff and a yeah. couple of his teammates, and we're going to call that one a no game. Henry Putoff, 6'2", 265-pound junior, and he was smacking some people in the middle of that line. 4.07 to go here in the first quarter. Six, Nodded at zero. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Kessler goes under center. He's going to hand the ball off. They go to the right side. They go to the right side trying to get around to the corner, and they get to the goal line, and he gets in. It's a touchdown, St. Mary's. A pantry pride touchdown with 3.53 to go. The Rough Riders strike first, 6 nothing on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Well, I mean, you didn't warn me about the fireball <laughs> going out like I asked I you to, the big that. celebration <laughs> thing we got here. How about that? That's the play that uh, they ran to the right side this time. Earlier when they ran to the left side is when they picked up 33 yards. Touchdown run right there. What a nice job there by the Rough Riders as they punch it in from nine yards out. It makes it 6 nothing, And on for the extra point for St. Mary's is number 41, Brady Triplett, the junior kicker, tries to convert the point after try. Snap is back. Kick is up. And it is no good. So it'll stay 6 nothing. With 3.53 to go in the first quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 6-0. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back here at St. Mary's High School where the St. Mary's Rough Riders have taken a 6-0 lead on the St. Henry Redskins. I want to thank our timeout sponsor, Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 1-800-776-3097. Six plays. They took 245 off the clock to go 54 yards. Of course, the big 33-yard run in the middle of all that helped set it up. But the typical St. Mary's drive, I would say, Danny. Yeah, Mark, you know, we've talked so much about the backs and the quarterback, and that offensive line really oh, churned boy. out some yards there, did they not? So we're looking at Will Glass and there Camden Roth, and we got Terry Ambruski and Zach, excuse me, Gavin Ehlers, Jack Seth Snethkamp, Xander Post. Keaton Fishbach, they're all doing their job up front there. Got to give them some love, don't yes, we? Yes, sir. <laughs> and the kick is deep, and it will be fielded at about the five-yard line. They'll bring it up to the 10, to the 15. Trying to get across the 20, finding some daylight, and that's where he'll be taken down. Number six, Drew Langenkamp, who we've seen quite a bit of tonight. He gets it to about... Uh, looks about the 24-25 uh, yard line. That's where the St. Henry Redskins will try to come out and match the Rough Riders touchdown. This is a veteran true, Danny. This ball will go down right on the 25 yard line. Nope, I missed my guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought you so, were right so, too. Some of those crews always look to put it on a yard marker that <laughs> right. goes the length of the field. Uh, 3.47 to go, 6 nothing. St. Mary's over St. Henry. And they're going to mark it at the 23 yard line. So. St. Henry's in the gun. They got a man in motion. They're going to hand the ball off, and he'll go off the right side. That was, again, number six, Drew Langenkamp. You know, they line him up in a lot of different yes. formations. Really good athlete, and uh, they've got him on kickoffs, punts, and uh, then the backfield. Use him as their H back. That time he carried on a little wing back reverse. Picked up about three. I think so, this kind of becomes an important St. Henry drive. You I know, think you've you're been three uh, yeah. out twice without taking any real time off the clock. You just gave up a score. I think this is a very important drive for them. You're absolutely right. And uh, Hulsman is in at quarterback now for the Skins. He'll be in the gun. He's got two receivers off to his left. He's got one man in the slot, and he's got a single wide coverage on the right side. Hulsman's going to look across the field. He'll go to the middle, and it's tipped up, and it's almost interception. Oh, my goodness. His intended target was number nine, Landon Schwartz, and he just 
Mark, he's throwing yeah. really hard tonight. He really is. <laughs> he's trying to get a quick slant he over is. the middle. Yeah. Somebody got a hand on it, banged it up in the air. It was a free ball for quite a while. Falls to the turf. But here we go, looking at third and seven again. Yeah, Mark, you called it. This may be, you said the, uh, the most important drive. This may be the most important play right now up to this yeah. point at third and seven. You got to give, you got to turn this field over, and they're way back on the 26-yard line. So 2.58 to go. St. Mary's leads 6 nothing in a battle that was won 17 to nothing last year by the Redskins of St. Henry. Hulesman's in the gun. He's got a back off to his right shoulder. He's got two receivers to the left. He's going to look across the middle. He's going to throw to the right side. Almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness. Jacob Kessler had the interception. Mark, if he catches that, he walks in the end zone. Uh, there were a lot of defenders around the ball that time. He's had some guys open that time, but he tried to force it in a little bit. It wasn't there that time. And we're going to look at another three and out for St. Henry again without taking much time off the clock with a pair of incomplete passes in that Saint, drive. Yeah, St. Henry's going to send back Jacob Kessler back to the 40, and they will punt the ball away on fourth and seven from the 26-yard line. And there's a flag on the field. See what that's about. Well, it's and not going to be enough for a first down, though, Danny. No, you're right. And they're going to say offsides on – I think that's I the call, No. Okay, so they've got to the 31. They're going to need a pair of yards to get a first down. I think Coach is going to go ahead and punt it. Yeah, absolutely. So fourth and two, and Kessler will back up to about the 34. No, maybe yard not. Line. They're going to move up. Oh, we're going to fake up. it. That's a good call. If you could get him to jump offside yeah, right here, yeah. that's a good call. Yeah, you're Play right. Play clock it never is still down to 23 or 4. It just got started. Jack Hulesman goes up under center, and uh, now they're going to punt the ball away. A lot of brush coming in. And it goes uh, off to the right side. And Kessler is going to try to field it. He does. He fields it at about the 25. He's under heavy pressure, trying to get away. And he's going to go back to the left side. And he's tripped up at the 26-yard line. So he loses yards on, uh, you know. I, you can't blame the kid for trying to make yeah. it work. But my goodness, he had a lot of ground to cover. Braden Heath made a nice diving tackle in there. I thought Kessler was going to get loose. He did not. So with 2.38 to go, the Rough Riders are going to take over at the 26-yard line. That was a minute 15 off the clock, and time of possession certainly favoring blue and gold right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. When you look at that, that is a big difference right now. St. Henry is going to be content here with 2.38 in the first quarter to just drive the ball down and be methodical about it. Have not attempted a pass tonight. <laughs> we doubt we see one with this offense. So Kessler goes under center. Going to hand the ball off to the first man off the left right side and finds a hole and a nice gain of about seven yards. And that's number 38, Caleb Schmidt, as he goes. He really hits the ball line quickly, he does. doesn't he? He's he in does. that fullback position. He does a really good job of getting his feet going quickly. Picked up seven to the 33. It's going to bring up second and three from the 33. 2.14 to go here in the first quarter. St. Mary's leads 6 nothing. Kessler goes under center. Can hand the ball off. They'll go right side, and he finds some daylight. And it looked like a face mask that wasn't called. Looked like he got grabbed by the face mask. I heard some other people here in the booth say the same thing, but they did not call it. That's number 24, Dominic Osborne, who's had a big night so far tonight, averaging 8.2 yards a carry mark. He's really getting after it. He really is. He bounced off a, a tackle at the line of scrimmage, was able to skirt to the outside to the right and pick up those four in the first down. That's going to bring up another Lee's Famous Recipe chicken first down. Here comes Kessler and the Rough Riders as they bring it up to the line. They'll hand the ball off their left side, and he goes right up the middle, and he is just churning out for a gain of about 12 yards, Mark. Unbelievable gain by big number 24 there, Dominic Osborne. He is having himself a night, Mark. Listed at 5'9", 175. Great, great leg strength that time, and... Just to keep moving the pile ahead, yet another first down to the 47, 48. Pick up of 11 that time. Clock continues to run. Rough Riders have the ball at the 48-yard line right at midfield. Kessler's going to go up under center. He's got, a, he's got a receiver off to the left side. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to roll. He's under heavy pressure. He's at the 50. He goes across the 50 to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and he's taken out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So a wonderful run by Jacob Kessler as he has to make something out of nothing, and he gets a least famous recipe first down. Yeah, he broke containment on the left side, and he's got good wheels. I he mean, does, they, they right? They use him to return punts. You know, he's got some good speed. 
He's picked up down to the 34-yard line. Well, Mark, when you run the ball as much as they do, and then you line somebody oh, up no. on the left side, and I thought they surely were going to throw it out there, but Kessler keeps it himself, and you got to believe that was a design play. I know Kessler's in shape because after every play, he has to run over to coach and get the next play call and get back in the huddle and call it. <laughs> we <laughs> covers a lot that. of ground. No, absolutely not. <laughs> No. You want me to do what, Coach? <laughs> Here come the Riders with 33 seconds to go. Kessler under center. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. And a gain of about a yard and a half, two yards. Schmidt that time. Yep, that was Caleb Schmidt on the carry. So, or excuse me, oh, Colt Mabry. Mabry. Colt I missed Mabry. 34, not 38. My bad, Danny. Sorry. Well, you know what? We're one out of three because they're, they're handling the same guys. <laughs> there are three of them there. And, Mark, I think that's going to do it as the clock comes down to seven seconds. It continues to run, and that will do it after one quarter play. After one quarter play from St. Mary's Memorial High School, the Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Redskins six to nothing. We'll come back with second quarter action. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where we're getting ready for the start of the second quarter. The Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Redskins six to nothing. Our presenting sponsor tonight is People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. So, Mark, uh, no secret to what they're doing here. They're churning out the yards, and uh, <laughs> you've got a pretty intense yes, stat over there, don't you? Yeah, St. Mary's had the football for 9 minutes and 11 seconds, 249 in the opening quarter for St. Henry. <laughs> Almost doubled him up and plays with 17 to 9 in favor of St. Mary's. Got a guy Gonna open. Go down the middle, and he's got a guy, and he overshoots him. Kessler had his man. His intended target was number 8 for the Rough Riders, Luke Remmel. Uh, had his man beat and uh, just throws it out of his hands. Good good time to do that, Danny. Yeah. You've got great field position. You're in four-down territory. If you choose to do that, you still got a couple of cracks to get in the first down, coming right out of the timeout like that. I, that was a really good, good play call. Absolutely. That'll bring up third and 10 from the 34. Kessler goes under center. He's going to hand off the first man up and right through the left side, and there he goes up the left side, and he's going to score another Pantry Pride touchdown. Dominic Osborne scores the touchdown to make it 12 0 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Mark, what a play call! Yeah, that was. was fantastic. A little counter action going from right to left. Got a really good blocking up front by those guys we named a moment ago. They just turned the Jets on. 34 yard touchdown run. And what a play on the Layfeld Industrial Instant Replay. Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies with location in Coldwater and Greenville. I didn't even get to talk about the red zone. They weren't in the red zone. <laughs> Let's see if he goes for two here after the missed PAT early. Eleven forty-six to go. You're right. I think they may be going for two, Mark. Kessler goes under center. He's got a receiver off to the right side. They're going to hand the ball off to the right side. He looked like he was going to throw yes. it, but he kept it himself. And it looked like, Mark, that Luke Rammel was going to throw it. He had a man in the back of the end zone, but the two-point conversion is no good. That makes it 12-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well defended by St. Henry. With 11.46 to go, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 12-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We'll be back for further action right after these messages. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. We're with 11.46 to go. The Rough Riders have extended that lead 12-0. And, uh, Mark, the uh, three-headed monster of Dominic Osborne, Colton Mabry, and Caleb Schmidt really getting after it, averaging uh, almost four yards a carry, except for Osborne, he's averaging 12 yards a carry. <laughs> Seven plays, 74 yards, 252 goes off the clock. Missed PAT, it's 12-0. So St. Mary's will kick the ball deep to St. Henry. Ball sitting on the 40, and away we go. Right down the middle of the field. It'll be fielded by the Redskins at the 10-yard line. They'll bring it up across the middle. And that is number 24, Danny Stommen, as he is taken down at about the 29-yard line. So a nice return there of about 19 yards. Danny, got to do this. Congratulations, you and your lovely wife, <laughs> Julie. <laughs> oh, wedding anniversary you. this week. Yeah, 32 years. Yeah, yeah, you've raised a great family. You picked a good one out, or maybe <laughs> well, she picked you. I'm not sure which way, well, but uh, I, congratulations, man. I appreciate that. I'm very blessed. Two great children and a wonderful wife. And uh, 
in a good career. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier. So thank you. I appreciate that. So here we go, 11.39 to go. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. St. Henry desperately needs something. Mark, this you called it. This is a critical drive here. They'll hand the ball off, go up the middle, and a there nice run across yep. the 35 to the 40. He's breaking to the left, to the 50. He goes to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, and a fantastic run by Charlie Whirling, who we've seen at the quarterback position tonight, but they say he's a fantastic tailback. Mark. Well, he had 980 yards rushing a year ago to lead the MAC, and had seven touchdowns to go with it. He broke one right there. Much lead needed that time. What do we got here? What's what's 25 and 20, Danny? A 45-yard pickup. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to math class. <laughs> Social studies you both come in. Rather than this mass over my head. But anyway, nice run that time. Got loose, got up the left sideline. See if St. Henry can stick one in the end zone right here. That's right. Another Lee's famous recipe, chicken first down. 11.07, first and 10 from the 25. They'll go back up the middle again as they run Charlie Whirling, and Charlie Whirling finding some daylight, and I think they found a little something there with Whirling at the tailback position. Good, good four-yard pickup that time on first down. Uh, three. That'll bring up second and seven from the 22. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine for week one of high school football on WOSN. We appreciate you joining us. We'll be with you every Friday night through the football season. I'm back here next week, Mark. Are you? Yeah, Gilly and I are back here for a big rivalry, St. Mary's and Salina. Have they played before? I <laughs> a think few they times. Have. I think they have. <laughs> a few times. Here's Whirling again. He's going to go off the left side. He's got some daylight, Mark. He gets to the sideline. He's trying to find the goal line, and he's going to take it almost across the 10-yard line, and they, Mark, are in the rural first red zone. How about the patience that time? He oh, let yeah. his blockers take care of business, then bounced it outside to get inside the 10. To about the, uh, look, there we go, to the eight yard line. So 14 yard pickup. Boy, this would be huge for the Redskins oh. right here to stick this in the end zone. Every bit of momentum would turn in this game, and the St. Henry Redskins know that. They got to get some points on the board here. They'll make it first and goal from the seven yard line. 10 23 to go until halftime. St. Mary's leads 12 0. So here come the Redskins. Jack Hulsman in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's going to hand it off to him. It goes to the right side, trying to find some daylight, and he's hit at the five-yard line, moving towards the goal line. Mark, he's awful close, but I don't believe he got in. That's Drew Langenkamp, a little bit of counteraction from his wingback position. Not only does he have speed, but good strength that time as he pushed the ball. To where they at? Know, about the one? Yeah, I was going to say down. right around the goal line. They're, right they're going to mark it at the two. They're okay. going to mark it at the two. Mark, I'll tell you what, I like the way they use Drew Langenkamp. He's a special athlete. They, yeah. they line him up everywhere. Drew Langenkamp, 6'1", 185-pound sophomore. A good future ahead of him. So here we go, Mark. Second and goal from the two-yard line, 9.45 to go. They'll line up Jack Hulsman under center. They'll hand the ball off. They go up the middle trying to get it in, and they do. And a touchdown for the Skins. Charlie Whirling takes it in for a pantry pride touchdown with 9.35 to go. Charlie Whirling knocks it in from the two-yard line. Make it 12-6 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Kind of his show, wasn't it? Kind Absolutely. That possession. Charlie whirling all over the place on that drive. A big scamper down the left side. Helps set up the two-yard touchdown. And here comes Michael Gonzalez in for the point after to cut the lead to five. Snap is back. Hold is good. And the kick is up. And it is good. With 9.35 to go, the St. Henry Redskins in a big-time surprising move. Scamper down the field to make it 12-7. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where first-year head coach Josh Whirling from the St. Henry Redskins, Mark, he's got to be ecstatic right now because his kids are back in this ballgame. Absolutely. Game. Five plays, all of them rushing plays, 211 off the clock to go 70 yards, the two-yard touchdown run plus the PAT, and it's – it's a five-point game, and we got us a football game. Yeah, Mark, you made a great observation at the break. You talked about them with the passing attempts in the first quarter, yep. and it, it looked like it did loosen up the St. Henry, or excuse me, the St. Mary's defense a little bit. Of course, the key now is with a little bit of mo on their side, can St. Henry get a stop? So here comes number two, Michael Gonzalez, to kick it deep to the Riders. They've got two back at the goal line. 
And the kick is up, and it is a good one, and it will drive them back to the five-yard line, and that's where he'll take the ball. He comes across the 20. He goes to the middle. There's a flag down, and he is gone. He is flat out gone. Jacob Kessler is going to take it to the house if it stands up. There's a flag on the field. We're going to wait and see. And the officials, let's see what they say, Mark. It's coming back. Yep, yep it's coming back. Boy, what, does he got wheels? You know, we talk about their three running backs, but he runs back punts, he runs back kicks. He, he showed good wheels the one time he ran from the quarterback well, position. Mark, here's what I'm looking at. I'm watching him return these kicks. I'm watching yeah. them where they're lining. And, and, I, and I love the idea because he's not getting hit a lot at the quarterback position. Yeah. He's not, you know, he's not in danger of getting hurt with him. He's just handing the ball off. I love the fact they use that kid like this. See what the call is from officiating crew. Yeah. St. Mary's coach is not happy with that call. <laughs> Let's see what they're calling. Oh, they got a tripping call, Mark. They're going to say tripping on the St. Mary's Rough Riders. So that will negate a 95-yard <laughs> a touchdown run by Jacob Kessler on the kickoff. All the way back to the 20-yard line for this drive to begin. It started their last drive on the 26 and went 74 in seven plays. 9.22 to go until half. You know, Danny, are you a technology guy? Um, you know, I, I try I to learn. When I look over to the St. Mary's the down box on the far side, yes. it tells you exactly how many yards they have to go to get a first down. That's unbelievable. Isn't that something? There's a <laughs> computer chip or whatever it does. There's a sweep. There's a sweep to the left side, and they uh, knock it out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. I and think that was, was Mabry, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was number 34, Colton Mabry. And that'll bring up a Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Well, that's no, going to be short of a first down as it goes at about the 28-yard line. The, the chains and the marker had a first down, but they changed it back to second and two. 9.15 to go, second and two from the 28. No hand is to the first guy up. That's number 24 for the Rough Riders. Dominic Osborne taken down quickly there. Did he get to the stripe? Yes, he did. Yes, Got to the did. 30, give him a first down. Got another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. They do not panic, do they, Mark? They, they just they just stay with the same game plan. I absolutely love that. Uh, back in the day when Skip Boffman was running the show, they did the same thing. They just kept running and running and running. You see those guys out there. They're lining them to be 6 foot, 185, and they'd knock you off the ball. <laughs> Kessler under center. He's going to hand it off to the first man up, and he'll get a gain of about five yard line, or excuse me, about five yards. And that was, again, uh, number 24 for the Riders, Dominic Osborne. I know it's second and seven because I looked at the down box. I was going to say, you told can me. see it. That's <laughs> amazing. That helps us a lot. Kessler goes under center. He's got two back onto his left shoulder. He's got a single receiver off to the left side. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to follow the blocks of his back. And my goodness, he was smothered under. And a great job by Brody Schwartz coming up and does a great job of holding containment on that. Comes up from his inside linebacker position and just lays the wood. Harrison Schwederman was out there too. Excuse me, Brayton Heath was out there as well and helped jam that thing up. He did a nice job of pursuing the short side of the field. Sets up a lengthy third down. They bring up third and six from the 35. Mark, I feel like the momentum in this game has really swung since St. Henry scored. And uh, this is a critical third down right here for the Rough Riders. It is. Force a punt right here. Give the football back to the red and white and see what they do with it. Or does Sander pick up a first down and kind of swing that momentum back their way? Kessler's going to hand it off. The counter play goes across the 40 and a nice run yep. for another Lee's famous recipe first down. And there you saw the speed and the power. Mabry. Colton Mabry, who's got a touchdown tonight already. Boy, he's got that long hair. I'd be afraid somebody would grab that from behind. <laughs> Needed seven, picked up ten, and the Riders keep possession. You know, how many teams think third and sevens are running down? Right. You know, in St. Exactly. Mary's, it is. And yep. they're picking up on that little count. And they're comfortable doing it, absolutely. Yes, sir. First and ten from the 45. They'll hand it off to Mabry again. He goes off the right side and picks up a gain of about seven yards. He's just churning and burning, Mark, and, boy, he's feeling good right now. He's got 35 yards and averaging five yards a carry right now. 
Another seven yard pickup in the St. Henry territory this time. This drive began at 9.35 on the clock, so by the time they snap this one, probably be a three minute drive plus. This is already coming up to be play number seven of the drive. It's just a typical St. Mary's thing. 6.50 to go, second and three from the 48. St. Mary's leads 12 to seven as they are on the drive again. Kessler goes under center. He's gonna hand the ball off to, looks like number 28, I believe that, or excuse me, Caleb Schmidt through the middle. So Henry blitzed that time, and although the, he didn't make the tackle, kind of confused the blocking assignments up inside, makes it a yard short of a first down. Going to bring up another third down for the Rough Riders. Third and one from the 46-yard line. Nice home crowd on tap tonight for the Rough Riders as the bleachers are full on this side. St. Henry, a late arriving crowd. You, you, we, you and I talked about that, but they've got quite a few people over there tonight. Third and one, they'll go right up the middle, and they pick up another lease. Famous recipe, first down, Colton Mabry just crushing defensive lineman as he goes through the line to pick up a lease. Famous recipe, first down. They got off the ball very quickly, did the offensive line. This will be play number nine coming up of this drive, Danny. 5.50 go here in the second quarter. First and 10 from the 44. Mark is a defensive lineman. It's, it's really tough when they just keep coming at you and coming at you. And it's, it's almost demoralizing at the time. And what do we got? We got a St. Henry's got a timeout. Yep. So we've got a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Five thirty-seven to go here in the second quarter from St. Mary's High School. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine, bringing you high school football action. Week one of the state of Ohio, and we got a dandy right here from St. Mary's High School. Mark twelve-seven with five thirty-seven to go. Rough Riders on the move. This will be play number nine coming up and drive. That's what the timeout was about. We got to rest our guys on, right. on defense and get them active again. Here's a counter. Here's a counter. He goes across the forty. He's Dragged down at the ankles, but he gets to about the 36-yard line, and that's number 24, Dominic Osborne. What a night he's had. He's almost to the century mark, Mark. <laughs> century mark, Mark. He's got 98 <laughs> yards, uh, averaging 8.8 .8 yards a carry. Great experience in his part. You know, he knows why to pick sure. his hole. Sure. Doesn't fumble the football. This will be from, the, from about the 36-yard line, I guess. Bring up second and two from the 36. Kessler goes under center. He's got the three-headed monster behind him. He's going to hand the ball off. They'll go to the left side, and they'll get a gain of about four yards. So they just keep churning that ball up the field. Number 24, Dominic Osborne, continues to lead that crew. Took and three guys to bring him down, Danny. Sure did. You know? And that uh, you, you see that defensive line for St. Henry uh, grabbing those jerseys a little bit, Mark, and you can see uh, they're just a little tired right now. Well, they've been on the field now for five minutes exactly. Defensively, started with 9.35 to go on this drive. Dominic Osborne picked up another Lee's famous recipe first down. 4.25 to go, first and 10 from the 30. They'll hand the ball up to Mabry. Mabry first man through, and he gains about three to four yards. And, Mark, they're, they're never losing yardage. They're no. just always getting three and four yards of carry, and it's just it's really cool to watch the way they just churn out these yards. They're, they've been going unbalanced line a lot uh, on this drive. That was unbalanced right that time. And just go behind those big people and pick up another three. Tonight's timeout sponsor is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Here comes Kessler, second and seven from the 27. He's going to hand the ball off to Mabry as he goes across the line and picks up close to a first down. I'm going to say he's going to be about two yards short, Mark. And then I'm bringing up about second, or excuse me, third and three, third and two. You know, you try to get so many hats on them when they run the footballs that those counter plays work really well. You get the whole defense that time flowing to the right. Yeah. And then go back to your left with a, you know, with the counter play action. Clock continues to run, 321 here until halftime. St. Mary's leads 12 to 7. We're looking at third and three from the 23-yard line. In four down territory, too. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. The way you're running the ball right now, Kessler's going to go up under center. 
Going to hand the ball off to the first guy up to the middle and close to a first down. Let's see where they mark it. And they're going to say that's short maybe? No, they're going to say first. Well, nope, they're going to say fourth and one, Mark. Fourth and one from the 21-yard line. You're right. Uh, they're knocking on the door of the red zone. Let's see what they do here. Big play offensively and defensively with 2.43 to go here before halftime. Play number 14 of this drive. Uh, unbelievable. We yeah. said when they took the ball, they were going to use that whole clock and push it down until halftime, and that's exactly what they've done. So here comes. I think we might run this play clock down and get a timeout. I think you're right. You're absolutely right. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. When we come back, we'll have 2.20 to go until halftime. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. We're back here at St. Mary's High School, where the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Ridge 12-7, and they are knocking on the door again as they've got a fourth and one that they've got, or, yeah, fourth and one. You're right. Uh, see what they do here, Mark. Uh, I think that's what this whole timeout was about. Yeah, Coach right. Fry is going to get everybody on the same page. Yep. See what his play call is. He's going to hand it off to. He didn't the first have it at first. That he you're got right. It. That's a great job. Colton Mabry didn't have the first down. You're right, Mark. And he bounced off the tackle, and he gets another Lee's famous recipe first down, and he gets into the rural first red zone. Rural first leader, rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. Why well, was a first team all conference back a year ago, Mabry with 1,458 yards. Look at how quick they're getting yep. into those plays, Mark. They'll go left side and they'll go across the 15. And a nice run there by number 24 for the Rough Riders, Dominic Osborne, as he has went over the century mark. He's got 112 yards on 13 carries tonight. St. Mary's has two timeouts left, as does St. Henry, as we're approaching 100 seconds to go here. And off up the middle, they run straight up the middle, gain of about three yards, and they just keep churning out the yards with 137 to go. And I love the urgency in the Rough Riders game right now, Mark. They're hustling back, and those kids know exactly what they want to do. That was Colton Mabry on the carry. He's got a touchdown tonight. You know he wants to get a few more of those. Third and two from the 11, 120 to go. Clock keeps going until halftime here. Kessler's going to hand it off to Mabry again off the left side. He's tripped up. Boy, I thought, Mark, he had that one. Agreed. And he, he falls across the about the six, seven-yard line, or he was gone. He did get a first down, however. Another Lee's famous yes, recipe, sir. first down. That'll make first and goal from the eight-yard line. So now with 60 seconds to go, the clock does become a bit of a factor. Counter. Counter play there, and here he goes oh, into the not. end zone, and another Pantry Pride touchdown. Dominic Osborne scores touchdown number two tonight for the Rough Riders, and it's 18-7 to on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Dominic Osborne's having a night. What an impressive drive they just put together right there. We'll give you all the stats when we come back in just a moment, but that was outstanding. And they'll come on for the point after try with just under a minute to go, 54 seconds to be exact. Brady Triplett on for the Rough Riders to knock in the PAT. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. So with 54 seconds to go until halftime, the St. Mary's Rough Riders have taken a 19 to seven lead. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Back here at St. Mary's High School with 54 seconds to go until halftime. Dominic Osborne takes it in for another touchdown. He's got two on the night, and that's an impressive drive, Mark. Unbelievable, Danny. You, you just, just eight minutes plus ago, we were talking about St. Henry was back in the football game. 18 plays, eight minutes and 42 seconds, 80-yard drive, all on the ground. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. So St. Mary's will kick it off. The ball sits on the 40. 
Who gets the ball first in the second half, Danny? The St. Mary's Rough Riders. Rough Riders. Yep. <laughs> we pitched. talked about that yes, decision, sir. Mark. We did. We really did. <laughs> they, they pitch a shot out here for 54 seconds. They're going to get the ball back then to start half number two with a 19-7 lead. There's the kick from the 40, and it goes right down the middle of the field. Fielded at about the five-yard line. He'll come across the 20 to the 25. He gets to the 30, finds some daylight. He's at the 40, and he's going to go to the 45. And I'm telling you, Drew Langenkamp yes, is lightning in a bottle. He's really, really a good player. About to say that, Danny. He has really had a good first half. He sure has. So with 45 seconds to go, the St. Henry Redskins are going to try to make something happen. And well, look, that's a great yeah, field position. It is. We've seen Hillsman with a pretty good arm. You're right. See if you can connect with somebody. Of course, St. Mary's going to play deep on this one. I'd take what they gave me. I'll be honest with you. They, you're right. They're sitting their safeties back really deep. Of course, you throw one up in the air, you might hit the drone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we have seen you the find drone. it annoying like I do. I do. I really do. I was watching that drone all night. And I'm like, what? Who's flying that out there? <laughs> two receivers each way. See what we got here. Yep, we got two on the left, two on the right. We got a man in motion. Snap is back. Yulsman looks around. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to throw to the sidelines, and that is incomplete. So Jack Yulsman, under heavy pressure, tried to find the open man and just misses it. That brings up second and ten. Flushed out of the pocket, had to roll to his right. Probably a good time to throw that one away and live to play another down. Yeah, Mark, here's the deal. you got 40 seconds left, and yep. you, you assume they're probably going to pass to try to get something back before halftime, but, boy, you, you don't want to give St. Mary's the ball back sure. anytime soon. They just barely beat the play clock that time, yes, too. It was right at one when the snap occurred. We're already down to 15 right here on this play. So with 40 seconds to go, second and 10 from the 45. And Hulsman is back in the gun. He's got Charlie Whirling behind him. Charlie Whirling had a huge start uh, to the, the second quarter. The play clock went to zero. There goes Whirling. It, it did. That yeah, that should have been a yes, penalty. Yes, it should have. I'm not real sure what happened there, but that, that play clock was at zero. Now, St. Henry's, Henry's going to take a take time, a time yeah. out. Uh, yeah, we'll run that time, but right to just over midfield, so pickup of six, but down to, to what? Uh, 32, 32 seconds. 32 yeah. seconds. Danny, I saw something today. Maybe I, I don't watch a lot of Canadian football. <laughs> They've got a really interesting rule I like. What's that? If you miss a field goal, and the ball goes past the end zone. Okay. It's a point for the for the opposing team. Really? Yeah. So you can't just let it fly over your head. Well, if you miss a field goal, the other oh, if you miss a field miss goal, a field oh, okay. goal I'm, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. The the team that's on defense gets a point. So suppose you're a Cleveland Brown fan, it ties 17 all, and you miss a field goal. You lose 18-17. I did not know that. That's and a you're, kind of an interesting rule. I'd like to study that a little bit. Yeah, well, that, that does have some advantage, and you're right. I don't watch a lot of no. CFL football either. Because every time I look at it, somebody's in motion. <laughs> yeah, right, right, and they're running and There's too the many guys way. on the field and everything else. <laughs> All right, it. we're at 32 seconds after the timeout. Third and four from the 49. Schulzman's in the gun. He's got whirling off to the right, looking across the field. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out got there. Him. And a reception made by number one, Jared Neefield, and a nice pitch and catch. And 26 seconds to go on the clock, and that clock will stop. First and 10 from the 35. Here come the Redskins. Schulzman brings his troop to the line of scrimmage. He's going to roll to the left side, throw to the left. He's got a man out there, and it's a completion. And he's going to scramble a little bit to the 30, and that's where he'll be taken down. they got one timeout left. And, and you just yeah, burned gonna, it. You're going to burn that timeout. Yep. 14 seconds to go. So a nice job by the Redskins to put themselves in a chance to score some points here with 14 seconds to go. The good job defensively, Danny. He had a chance to run out of bounds and stop the clock, but the defense was there, forced him to turn back inside. And because of that, just a four-yard pickup, and then they had to burn their last time out. I want to thank our touchdown sponsor tonight. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Pantry Pride is our touchdown sponsor. And we've said them a lot tonight as our touchdown sponsor. Beautiful night on tap here. Sun's still out. Uh, rather quick first half. We haven't, not, not even an hour yet, Mark. Right. And uh, We're sitting on the 31-yard line. So you've got a chance for a completion, a first down that would stop the clock and get up to it again. 
Interesting to see what the don't play call is. Don't want to sack right. and don't want to have the, a tackle in the middle of the field yeah, somewhere. Don't, you, you want to push the boundaries and you don't want to take a sack. So Hulesman will bring his troops to the line of scrimmage. Trips right. Trips to the right, single back to the left. He looks across the field. He's under pressure. He rolls to the left side. He's going to throw to the end zone, and he's got a man out there. He's got Whirling out there, and he was double covered, but he was going for number 12, Charlie Whirling. How about the d defense that time? They put pressure on with a three-man rush. Yeah, they Dropped did. eight into coverage. He had to throw it deep in, into the end zone, probably out of the back of the end zone no matter what. But the really good job by those up three up front three people to yeah. force them to make that pass. Led by big number 93, Caleb Turner. He's all over the field tonight, doing a great job for the Rough Riders. You look at a couple of Rough Riders already back on about the five-yard line. They're dropping more guys down around the 10. Seven seconds to go. He's going to take the snap, throw to the left side. He's got a man out, out there. Gets out of bounds. Did and he a get great the first job. down, though? He did not get the first down, he Mark. He was close. He's about a yard short. That's going to bring three seconds. This is probably going to be your last yeah. play of the game. And let's see what St. Henry decides to do. Got out of bounds, but did not pick up the first down first, although with just three seconds left, that's probably academic anyway. They're going to try for three, Mark. They're going to try to get three wow. on the board here. We're this is a... <laughs> 43-yard field 43 goal 43 yard field goal by number two, Michael Gonzalez. And holding the ball will be Jack Hulsman. And let's see if he can pull this off. Snaps back, kick is up, and it is no good. It falls short as the clock runs out. We go to halftime. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Redskins 19-7. We'll have second half action right after these messages. Welcome back for second half action here at St. Mary's High School. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine for week one of high school football on WOSN and Mark. 19 to 7 in a game dominated mostly by the St. Henry offensive line, or excuse me, St. Mary's offensive line. Yeah, you know, let's talk about two really meaningful statistics. One of them is time of possession. St. Mary's 18 minutes and six seconds of football in the first half to just 554 to St. Henry. And the reason why? Their ground game has been outstanding. 227 yards on the ground. Osborne has 15 carries, 124 yards. Mayberry, 14 carries for 60. Schmidt, the fullback, five carries for 24. And the total offense for St. Henry is at 101. So just a, a dominant performance. And I really like, if you're a St. Mary's fan, how they responded when the game got to be 12-7. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. And we are underway for the second half. And the kick is picked up by number 14, Jacob Kessler, as he goes to the middle of the field and he goes to 30. And uh, he is taken down at a right around the 28 as he's pushed back. But I love, I said this in the first half, I love the way they move him around and let him field kick. I just, he's just such a really good athlete. He's a really good athlete. He's done a good job of handling the football from his quarterback position. Only rushed the football once, but his special teams play has been really good. So Kessler will bring out the Rough Riders. They lead 19 to 7. Uh, we, we talked about St. Henry getting the ball first in the first half, and we thought maybe this could be an issue uh, with the way uh, they're just churning out yards, and here they are with a 19-7 lead and the ball first in the second half. That eight-minute-plus drive at the end of the half that they used to, to re-secure control of the football game when it went to 12-7, made it 19-7 at the half, and now with the football here, Owned us really big on St. Henry's defense right away. Yeah, and Mark, we saw some flashes of greatness out of yep. number 12, Charlie Whirling, for the St. Henry Redskins. He ran the ball really nice in the first half, and you just wonder if they're going to try to go with him a little more this half. 81 rushing yards, mostly by Whirling. 30 on the ground, or 30 through the air in the first half for St. Henry. Kessler. He's going to hand the ball off to number 34, Colton Mabry, as he tries to get out to the right side, and he is taken down. Danny gained about five yards. Danny Stalman made a really nice play that time to get out there that time and to kind of hang on for, for dear life. So we could drag him down a little bit, but not until there was a six-yard pickup. Let him bring him second and four from the 36-yard line, 11.28 to go. St. Mary's leads 19-7. to seven. Beautiful night here, mid-70s, sun going down. Nice crowd on tap for week one of high school football in the state of Ohio. They'll hand the ball off to the first man up the middle, and he's going through the middle, and he gets to the 50-yard line. He's got another Lee's famous recipe, first down, and a big run by Colton Mabry. 
as he is really churning out the yards now, heading towards 100 yards. He's well up above 80 yards right now. I thought he did two really special things on that, Danny. First of all, his hit the hole quickly. Second, his ability to move sideways and to make people miss. And then the strength to carry on from there. That's a 16-yard pickup and a first down. And they are running to the line, Mark. Here come the Rough Riders. They're going right at it. Here comes another big run by number 24, Dominic Osborne. We saw Dominic Osborne have a great first half, 124 yards in the first half. He's averaging 8.3 yards a carry, Mark. Wouldn't you say that Coach Fry went in the locker room at halftime and said, fellas, we're going to come out and we're going to dominate right from the beginning here and set the tone and for the whole second half, that and is, they are doing yeah, it. Yeah, you're exactly right, Mark. This is a mindset, and these Rough Riders have got it right down to a science. With 10.36 to go, clock continues to run. They lead 19-7, to and they're churning out the yards. 11-yard pickup on that play. St. Mary's now up over 260 yards rushing. And they're going to run to the left side as he tries to break containment, and he's going to be taken down. And there you saw Dominic Osborne just get swarmed up by a nice job by the St. Henry yeah. defense as they contain the outside. Boy, it's really – if you're a defensive coordinator, this has got to be a nightmare to prepare for, Mark. I mean, just yeah. all the counters, all the moves. It's uh, You know, I have a hard time keeping up with it. You know, Danny, we talk a lot of times about body language, and we do so from a negative standpoint. Sure. The positive body language right now with the St. Henry, <laughs> uh, they come to the right. line of scrimmage. Here we come. We're coming at you. Yeah. And the positive body language is really outstanding for them right now. You're absolutely right. Second 10 from the 37. They'll hand the ball off to the left side. And a gain of about three yards there. Dominic Osborne. You know, Mark, Dominic Osborne, he's 5'9", but, you know, he can hide behind those offensive linemen, and he does a great job, and it's really tough to see him before he breaks containment. I really agree with that, Danny. And then, of course, he's got great leg strength, so when oh, you just goodness. halfway hit him, you're not going to get him down. Well, they're starting the campaign out right. They are uh, running the ball everywhere right now. Well over 263 yards, the Rough Riders are, with 9.08 to play here in the third quarter. Third and seven from the 34. Big third down play here for the Riders. Kessler under center. Going to hand the ball off to the first man up, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Nice job by San Henry. They weren't fooled at all by that play, Mark. That You know, they, they've seen enough of this action in the first half that the nice job there by the defensive lineman for San Henry. Tried to do a quick hitter inside, and a little slow getting up this time. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Looked like Mabry uh, maybe hurt on the play. He's going to go back to the huddle. He gets himself back to the huddle, though. It's yeah, they, third they, down and need about five. They may have made him. Yeah, I was gonna five. say they may have made him mad. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he runs pretty hard, so that bring up fourth and five from the 32. 8:22 to go. Clock continues to run here at St. Mary's High School. Kessler goes under center. He's got Mabry in the backfield. He's gonna hand the ball. He's gonna keep it himself. He's looking to throw the ball. He's under heavy pressure, rolls to the right, and he's going to throw it away, and that's going to be a turnover on down. So not exactly what the Rough Riders were hoping for, but a nice defensive stance by the Redskins. Well, they had the football for almost eight minutes, just uh, almost four minutes, just eight seconds less than four minutes that time, but St. Henry held. And now down, uh, you know, 19-7 to get the football Boy, back. You talk about body language. Look at the St. Henry defense going off yeah, the field. They are happy. pumped up and excited. you, you got to feel good about that uh, defensive stop. little bend but don't break. And they did not give up any points there on St. Mary's first drive here in the second and half. I'm really curious what Coach wants to come out and do here in quarter number three. They threw a lot early in, in the football game, but then they got to the running game. That's how they got their points on the board. And, Curious to see what Coach wants to do. Well, Obviously, he wants to be diversified, see how he wants to do it. I'll tell you what, Mark. I, I think you got to get Drew Langenkamp and Charlie Whirling involved. I think they're their two best athletes. you got to get them on the boundaries and get them outside of containment. Let's see what they do here. First and 10 from the 32, 808 to go. Whirling sets up behind Hillsman. They're going to go Whirling right up the middle and a gain of about four yards. Nice job by Whirling as he goes up through the middle of that defense. They're going to say two yards. I thought he fell forward a little more than that. That'll be second and eight from the 34. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Layfield Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Thank you, Layfield Industrial Welding Supplies, for our instant replay sponsor tonight. Danny, it's only the first game of the season, but all press box food in the, in the clubhouse <laughs> right now is St. Mary's. I'm telling man. you, these guys know what they're <laughs> yes, doing. The, the bounty of food they have provided for us tonight is fantastic. Get your games up there, uh, high schools. <laughs> We're coming to your school. <laughs> 
There's a handoff. Oh, oh they got a little, little, little flea, flea flicker action. action. He's got, got his man open. down the field, and he's got him. Got he's it. got him what out there, play. and it's a touchdown. Jared Neffield, Neffield scores it. What a play, Mark. you got to be kidding. Oh, it's yeah. a pantry pride touchdown as he caught the Riders sleeping, and what a play. They had that set up perfectly, and that was the best thrown football of the evening by uh, Hillsman, really nice play, 66-yard TD pass. And Mark, it's coming back. There was a it flag is. on the play. No, yep, it's I, you coming can't back. Go, I can't, because I wrote it in red, <laughs> in pen. Can't do that to me, fellas. Oh, illegal shift on oh, St. Henry. Boy. What a play, and what a play call, Mark. Unbelievable. Jared Neefield had the entire defensive secondary for St. Mary's beat, and he stretches out, makes an incredible catch, and it's all for naught. Th that's an unfortunate thing, but you got to have a little confidence in your quarterback oh now. Goodness. Look what I just did here, and, and, and you know, we can open the playbook up a little bit. He was throwing the ball a little hard in he the was, opening half. Was. That line, he yeah. laid the ball out there, let his man run underneath it. So the penalty is going to take it back to the 20s, uh, what, 20? Back Nine? to the 29-yard yeah. line. Head coach Josh Whirling's got to be just sick to his stomach on that play. He had everything dialed up the right way. Uh, so let's see what they do. Hulsman's in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. He takes the snap, Blitz. looks across the field. They're going to throw down the middle, and he's going to throw outside of number nine, Landon Schwartz, as the ball goes over his head. They sent a lot of bodies after him that time. The offensive line held up pretty well, but the pocket was starting to collapse. He just overthrew his man. He sure did. Got to bring up third and 13 from the 31. As nightfall becomes nightfall here at St. Mary's High School as the lights have been turned on on this beautiful facility. Isn't this great, Danny? It High is. school football here. There's a cornfield across from us, a silo. <laughs> know, you know, right? what, what a great environment. That is, a, that is a Sports Illustrated picture right yes, there sir. for Midwestern High, yep, Mid High School football. This is third. a big third down. Yes, it sure is. Third and 13 from the 31. You want to believe. Hulsman's in the gun. He's going to be under heavy rush. He's going to bring it up, and he's going to be taken down, and he's going to lose about four yards, and that is a huge play by the St. Mary's defense. And a big-time stop for the St. Mary's Rough Riders. I think that was a design quarterback draw. But I think it was, I, the yeah. The defense was so well prepared for it that it looked more like a sack, uh, forcing him out of the pocket, but I think that was a, a design play that was just well defended. Here's a punt. Here's a punt, and they've got Jacob Kessler back deep, Mark, the ever-dangerous Jacob Kessler. You know what he can do. Ball's going to be punted up in the air, and it's going to go to the right side, and it's going to go uh, out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. That's where the Rough Riders will take over. Well, Zimmerman's had a lot of good punts in the first half. Unfortunately for him, that wasn't one of his best ones, and St. Mary is going to get good field position. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Ultima Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine, bringing you high school football. Mark, there's the uh, St. Mary's drone right above us here. If you, <laughs> We've been watching that thing all night. It's swooping down now. Yeah. yeah. It's an annoying thing out there. Isn't it? I wonder if that's Connor Staggins anywhere in the area. Oh. <laughs> well, there is a blue and gold team out here, Danny. <laughs> I don't want to go there, yeah, Mark. Okay. <laughs> we get people to turn us off. First down to midfield. <laughs> Kessler under the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. And they're going to get a gain of about maybe a yard and a half, two yards after he's pushed back. Wait, you, you got to give that St. Henry defensive line some credit, Mark. They've really played well this half. This half they have. That was Schmidt with that carry. He's only had five carries in the opening half. You're right. Caleb Schmidt, five carries for 24 yards, as long as seven for an average of 4.5 yards a carry. Good three-yard pickup, though, on first down. Counter. And a counter play off the left side. And they'll move it towards the first down marker. And it'll bring up a manageable third and about three or four. It'll be third and four from the 44. Osborne from his wing back position. Dominic Osborne now has, let's see, 145 yards on the night. Excuse me, 141 yards. Halfway through quarter three. Right. Too. 141 yards. He's got two touchdowns, averaging 7.4 yards a game. I bet the folks at home are amazed that I'm just throwing those numbers out there, not knowing that I've got a board right beside me. <laughs> Here we go, third and four from the 44. Oh, and big a hit. big time yes. hit. My Guess goodness. Who? Somebody named Langenkamp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a play by St. Henry. Brings up fourth and five, and St. Mary's is going to punt the ball away, Mark. A big stop by the Redskin defensive line. How about that? Just when they needed to, that's going to force a punt. 
Do, do you watch Drew Langenkamp and go, sophomore? I know, right? Yeah, wow, right. He's made so many nice yeah. plays this evening. I think he, he's he, got two plus years, two, two years and nine plus games probably. Nice player to have yeah. on your team, isn't he? So St. Mary's in punt formation. They'll punt from the 40 yard line. Nice deep punt. It fielded at about the 10 yard line, and that's where it'll be fair caught. And a little, uh, little bumping incident there, but no flag. And I, I, I like the way they did not call that as it was incidental bumping there. Well, he was coming up to make the catch. Yeah, he you, sure was. you had stopped and you weren't, weren't trying to make a hit on him. He came up to make the catch, a little bit of contact, but nothing. Worth, worth throwing a flag for. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. Yeah, guess whose phone app didn't work when he tried it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing we keep reading, I better download <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah. Here come the Redskins. First and 10 from the 15. Jules one's going to take the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. This is whirling as he goes across. Another go. Lee's famous recipe. First down. My goodness, Charlie whirling, a special athlete. He churns up the yards, and he gets him out of a little bit of a hole there. You can see why he gained almost 1,000 oh, yards yeah. a year ago. Absolutely. And plus being bigger and stronger this year as he picked up 14 on that carry. Yeah, regardless of what St. Henry does here tonight, and they are down 19-7, to this is going to be a good football team. We've already seen a lot of improvements from last year's team, Mark. We really have. Kind of reminded me, you know, we did their playoff game last year, and they were so resilient, had poor field position the whole, really the whole football did, game, especially did. the first yeah. half. And they, they've shown a lot of resiliency tonight, I think. So Hulesman's in the gun, 3.51 to go, first and 10 from the 29. He takes the snap. He's going to run behind that line, and he's going to pick up about three yards as he goes towards the 35-yard line. Bring up second and five from the 34. 3.33 to go here in the third quarter. St. Mary's leads 19-7. to seven. I know when this game started, Mark, and they got that two-touchdown lead, you and I thought, well, are we going right. to see a blowout? And to St. Henry's credit, they've done a great job of hanging around. And if they can get a score here, Mark, you got the whole fourth quarter ahead of you. Agreed. That'll bring up third, or excuse me, second and five from the 34, 19 to seven. St. Mary's leads. Hulesman takes the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. He goes off to the left side, and there he goes across the 40 to the 45 and almost to the 50. Big number 12. Charlie Whirling churning out the yards. Got a, some good blocking, but he also was very patient, let it open up as he could get to the he left sure side did. of the formation, take it out to the 47. Another big pickup this time for 13 yards. Another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe is our first down sponsor tonight in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken, home style, happens here. Josh Whirling in his first year as the head football coach at St. Henry. I think he's done a nice job I tonight. I think he's done a really nice sure. job tonight. This is a tough place to play in a, in a you know a packed stadium in a in a rivalry game and he's done a great job. So play clock getting down there. We're at four right now. So Hulesman gets the snap. He's going to follow the blocks. He gets out to the right side, and he's going to cut it back inside. He makes a blocker miss, and he gets across midfield, and he's going to get another Lee's famous recipe first down. And the Redskins are moving it across the forty yard line. There were multiple opportunities, Danny, but he stayed behind a couple of blocks, turned it on a couple of times, made a couple of nice cuts, and yet another first down. This time down to the forty. That's a thirteen yard pickup for him. Had to bring up first and 10 from the 40 at the 40-yard line, 19-7. to A little bit of giving St. Mary's their own dose of their own medicine. Keep they, the ball yeah. on the ground. They started on their own 15. Now they're to their opponent's 40. You're absolutely right, Mark. They are just yeah. running it right down their throats. Langenkamp's in the backfield this time. Hill's been in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's going to keep it on. A little broken play there, but Hulesman's going to make the most of it. He goes across the 35, and he picks up six big yards. It looked like a broken play, Mark, and he just took off running. He did. Made that fake inside, kept the ball. Maybe he read something that time, but he did keep possession, picked up five. Clock continues to run. 19-7 to here with 1.30 to go in the third quarter. St. Henry very much in this game. Boy, if they put it in the end zone here, we've got a battle on our hands for the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Mark Schein from St. Mary's High School. Week one of the high school football season here on WSN. We'll be with you every Friday night, bringing you all the local teams from around the Lima Land area. 
He's got whirling behind him. Hulsman's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. They're going to go whirling up the middle. And he, he gets leg tackled for a gain of about two yards. He's so big, Mark, that when he falls down, he gets a yard. Well, early on, we talked about the offensive line that we saw from St. Mary's. But right now, Nick Layfeld, Alex Post, Anderson Kremer, Henry Putoff, those guys are doing a really good job up front right now. Moving people around. Alex Post's name, too. Jake Schwederman. These guys are doing a good job. This is a... Obviously a big third down situation right here. One would expect four down territory. This might be the final play of this quarter, I think too. you're right. We're at the 32nd mark. Each and team has had the ball just twice in the quarter. Third and three from. Ball was on the 33. Hillsman's in the gun. He's going to look across the middle, and he's got his man out there. He's got a pitch and catch, a completion for another Lee's famous recipe. First down, a nice pitch and catch there to number nine, Landon Schwartz, as he goes down for an easy first down. Look at the clock. We're under nine right now. This ball gets down to the 29-yard line. And that's going to do it, Mark. They're going to let that clock run out as we go to the fourth quarter. With one quarter to go, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Redskins, but the Redskins are knocking on the door. We'll have fourth quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where with one quarter to play, the St. Henry Redskins threatening to pull closer to the St. Mary's Rough Riders, 19 to seven, and St. Henry's driving a nice drive for the third quarter, Mark. Well, each team ran the same number of plays in that quarter. Now St. Henry on a move. They got Charlie Whirling back in the quarterback position as he throws a little screen pass to the flat there for number eight, Carter LaGuire, as he picks up a, a few yards. Was a yard yeah. or so? Maybe not. It certainly didn't move the down box that time. Second and ten, it still says over there. Looked like they got a little bit of a gain. Yeah. And the officials are stopping play now. Let's see what they're calling here. Trying to decide whether he caught it or not. I look like he certainly caught it. Well, they're going to move the football back in as if he did not. Let's see. They're going to rule it incomplete. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, th I think you're correct. They didn't yeah. run. We got, we got some help here in the booth, and he says they're rolling it incomplete. Okay, so an interesting uh, change here, uh, Mark. They're going to they're gonna discuss it a little bit. St. Henry yeah. will be home next weekend with uh, Archibald. It's a long trip from Archibald to St. Oh Henry, Oh, my Danny. goodness, yeah. And you have Salina have, here, correct? Right back here for yep. next week. Uh, Darren Gilbert and I will be on the call for that one. So really excited about that. A big rivalry, those two communities right side by side. Nine Western Buckeye League games over the next nine weeks. It's good football. It's good football. <laughs> Okay. So they're going to put time back yeah. on the clock, and they're going to call it an incomplete pass. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good piece of officiating by a veteran crew. Yeah, it is. They got together. They made the call. And, of course, we couldn't see it from our vantage point. I thought he made the call or catch, but apparently he did. So we'll go second and ten from the 28. Ninth play of the drive coming up. Hulesman takes the snap, hands the ball to Whirling. Whirling goes across the middle. He's up to 20, to the 15. He tries to get to the left side. He's going to get into the end zone. Mark Charlie wow. Whirling scores a touchdown. Another Pantry Pride touchdown. Charlie Whirling, what an athlete he is, Mark. Now, am I going to be able to mark this one in my book? Because we had a penalty the <laughs> last a time. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's a 29-yard touchdown run on the ninth play of the drive. My goodness, we got a game, Mark, at 19 to 13 with 11.47 to go. 85-yard drive. Charlie Whirling takes it in. My goodness, he's quick. You can see absolutely, Mark, why he led the Mac in rushing last year. Unbelievable. Extra point attempt. Snap is back. Hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 11.47 to go, we're going to step aside and take a Burke Petroleum timeout. 19-14 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. You're watching High School Football on WOSN.
Welcome back to St. Mary's High School where we have an absolute shootout, ladies and gentlemen. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 19 to 14. What a scoring drive by the Redskins, Mark. How about that? They went nine plays to go 85 yards. It took 445 off the clock. They doubled their rushing total from the first half with that particular drive and series that they ran. And well, now, you know, Danny, in the opening half, when St. Henry scored to make it to a 12-7, yes, yes. St. Mary's answered. Now we're going to see if St. Mary's answers again or does St. Henry get that stop and, yeah, and well, get the football back for their offense? You know what, Mark? That St. Henry defensive line has played fantastic this half, and they're going to need them here for this drive. Ball's caught at the five-yard line. He's going to bring it to the 20, to the 25, and that's where he's going to be tripped up at about the 27-yard line. That's where the Rough Riders will take over with 11.42 to go. Osborne ran that kick back. Would you have thought, Danny, when it was 12-0, <laughs> you know, that we were no. going to be in a five-point no. game here at this point either? I thought the game was going to get away from St. Henry, but they they stayed in the football game. And yeah, they, they, they made some mistakes, Mark, and I thought for sure that the, uh, you know, the veteran leadership of the St. Mary's Rough Riders would take over, but let's give St. Henry its credit. They've done a great job. So here come the Rough Riders, Kessler under center. They'll hand to Mabry as he goes to the right side, and he's going to get about three yards and some tough sledding there by Colton Mabry. Boy, that kid's tough, Mark. He's tough. He really is. It's a big drive, I think, for both teams in the course of the football game. They're going to call that second and five from the 32. Now, obviously, St. Mary's would love to have it about sure. an 11-minute oh, drive boy. here, take this time off the clock. And, look, they're capable of it, but that St. Henry defensive line has played really well this half. That in the opening half, the one eight minutes and 44 seconds, they would love to do that one more time right here, put another touchdown on the board. Here comes Kessler under center. He's got Mabry right behind him. Little counter play there as he goes loose in the middle. Oh, and there, there he go. goes. He is gone. He's gone. Oh, he's going to be taken down. Behind. What a play. What a tackle. I thought for sure that Dominic Osborne had it into the end zone, and he is taken down. How many times did you call Drew Langenkamp's name tonight? Uh, about <laughs> <laughs> 15 yeah. times. And that's going to be another Lee's famous recipe first down. And Dominic Osborne really churning out the yards. A big play for the Rough Rider offensive line as they blew that hole open. 10.45 to go. They lead 19-14. 41-yard drop uh, play. They'll go another counter. There's Osborne again as he's churning out the yards. And he gets across the 19-yard line. And it's another rural first red zone. Rural first, the leader in rural lending. Rural first can help you live closer to what matters. Picked up seven on that play. That offensive line taken over again. Yes, they are. Ball sitting at the 20-yard line, second and three, 19-14. St. Mary's lead knocking on the door again, trying to close this one out with 10-10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine on the campus of St. Mary's High School. Beautiful Friday night for football. Kessler spent a lot of time talking with his coach about he this did. play. He did. And they're going Mabry up the left side, and he churns out another eight, nine yards, and they got another Lee's famous recipe, first down. It was Mabry that time. Boy, Mark, when they put the pedal on the, to the metal, they just go. They just go. 12-yard pickup that time. That'll bring up first and 10 from the 15-yard line. Clock continues to move with 9.40 to go here in the game. You got to believe St. Henry's got to make a stand right here, keep him out of the end zone. Kessler gets under center. He's going Mabry off the left side, and he bounces around, and he goes to about the eh, about the eight-yard line. Bring up second and four. They'll call it the nine-yard line. Colton Mabry has 100 yards now, Mark. They've got two backs over 100 yards. He's got 100 yards on 20 carries. Osborne has 189. I didn't realize that until I looked <laughs> that over big, my That was a big run there, yeah. yeah. Dominic Osborne can get out to on the boundaries, and uh, Colton Mabry, he's just taking everything right up the gut. Kessler gets under center. He's going Mabry off the left side, and he's pushing that pile. And they'll go to the, about the five-yard line where they'll just be a stalwart there of uh, St. Henry defenders. Going to need about a yard for the first down, I think. They'll go third. You're short. right, Mark. You're right. Third and one from the six-yard line. 
8.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. Danny, watch Kessler run back with the play call. I think he's got a little bit of hitch in his giddy-up right here. I, I noticed that earlier, Mark. You're absolutely right. He yeah, was favoring he, he was favoring that foot a little bit or the leg, one of the two. You can tell he's limping just a little bit. He'll go under center. He'll hand to Mabry right up the middle, and he's churning out the yards, and they'll go to about the two-yard line mark. Get another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. We'll get four new downs. They'll go first and goal from the three-yard line. Eighth play of the drive coming up right here. This All is, on the ground. Yeah, I was going to say, this has been the, uh, you know, Owen, uh, Dominic Osborne had the big run, but it's been mostly Colton Mabry just churning out the yards here as we get towards the goal line. They've had We're, four minutes off the clock this yes, time. Yes, they have, Andy. yeah. This, you, we talked yep. about that yep. when they took the ball over. There you go. There goes Kessler under center. He's got Dominic Osborne off to his right. They'll go Mabry up the middle, and he's taken down. A big hit by that defensive line. Wow, they met him right in the hole, Mark. They did. That's going to bring up second and goal as St. Henry getting tough in the middle of that interior defensive line as that clock continues to run. We're down to 7.15 to go in the fourth quarter. I, I suppose, Danny, I could look at the sheet, that big panel over your side, <laughs> yeah, right. but there have been virtually no penalties in this game. Oh, it's, it's been just, a clean a couple, game. Right? For a first week yes, of high sir. school football, it's been a really clean game. The exact same thing. That's a great point, Mark. You know, most of the time we see flags everywhere. Sure. Guys jumping off sides or... Here they go, and they'll go Mabry up the middle, and did he get in? And he does. Another pantry pride touchdown by Colton Mabry as he goes out from three yards, and it's 25-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard with 6.55 to go in the game. Puts it an 11-point lead. And did they answer, Danny? They, they absolutely yes, answered, absolutely. Colton Mabry on the night, 24 carries, 109 yards, two touchdowns, a 4.5-yard average. So Rough Riders will try to tack the point on. This is Brady Triplett. Snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is good. Really good hold, Dan. That, that snap was, was a bit really high. good hold, yeah. With 6.55 to go from St. Mary's Memorial High School, the Rough Riders lead the St. Henry Redskins 26-14. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after these messages. Back here at St. Mary's Memorial High School, Mark, with 6.55 to go. What a drive by the, the, the St. Mary's team. They just absolutely answered. We've been saying it all night. They've been dominating up front. Yeah, nine plays, four minutes, 52 seconds off the clock to get 73 yards in. And again, they <laughs> did, just like they did in the first half. St. So Henry got close to making a game out of it, and they Mark, just took off offense. Mark, you know, what, what's amazing to me as we see the kick go deep here, uh, fielded at the goal line, and he's going to bring it across the 10 to the 15 to the 20. And that's where he's going to be taken down at the 20-yard line. There's a flag down. What's amazing to me, Mark, is this Rough Rider football, they look in midseason form. They do. You, they they yeah. just look so prepared. And look, well, I know it's a close game, but that's a good St. Henry team. And, and they've got nine, se nine players back who started a year ago offensively, and they have shown that this evening. Yeah, they have. They have, absolutely. Got a player down there. Back here at St. Mary's Memorial High School, and they did attend to that young man, and we got a number and a, and a positive ID on that player. Yes, yeah, Braden Heath, and he's he's going off, but he's a lot of assistance to get off. Hopefully, it's uh, something he can get back from and continue through his. Junior yeah, it looked year. like a knee or a lower leg injury, but you're right; he did have to have assistance getting off the field, and we uh, uh, send out prayers to that young man and hope he does well. But uh, and there was also a penalty, Danny, that on the kickoff, which pushes the football back to the 10-yard line for St. Henry's possession to begin. Got to bring up first and 10 from the 10 yard line. So St. Henry well back into a deep hole with 647. They got to make something happen here, Mark. Still not out of this game with the striking power they have. Well, Hules, their, yeah. their touchdown drive went 445. They've got to be quicker this time. Absolutely. Hulesman's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's going to look across the field. He's going to go deep down the middle. He's got a guy. He's got him out there. Oh, my goodness. He had him. He just missed him. Number eight, Carter McGuire. He had the ball, Mark. Was there a little bit of contact before the ball was thrown? Could I, yeah, way, could up, way up field, I don't think it was going to be a pass interference, but perhaps just enough to knock him off stride. And he made a great effort for it, just couldn't reel it in. Yeah, they've done a nice job of getting behind those defensive backs from St. Mary's. Boy, they've got some athletes over at St. Henry, Mark. This is a nice football team. 
agreed with Archibald next week before they get into MAC play the week after. They're definitely going to play a factor in the MAC. Now, obviously, Marion Local is the standard bearer, but this is a nice St. Henry team. So here we go. Hulesman's in the gun. He's going to look off to the left side. He's got a man out there, and he just misses the throw. And again, he was going after number eight, Carter LaGuire, who had single coverage on the boundary, and he misses him. It brings up a third and ten. Difficult rollout to roll out left-handed when you're a right-handed sure, quarterback. Sure. And now we're to third and ten very quickly here. Everybody on their feet on the home bleachers here at St. Mary's. Play clock is at 15. Going to have to get this one going pretty quickly here. Boy, you talk about multiple state championships amongst these two programs. They got a ton of them between St. Henry and St. Mary's. Here's Hulesman in the gun. He's going to take the snap, looks across the middle, under pressure, throws in the middle, and he just misses the intended target of number two. That is Michael Gonzalez as he just misses Gonzalez. That's going to bring up fourth and ten from the ten-yard line. And, boy, he almost half the punt was 6.33 to go. Well, you would think that you have to. It's unfortunate for St. Henry that – Whirling couldn't touch the ball on that possession. Yeah. They had a couple of opportunities to throw a ball and, and just missed receivers. Had had nice game plan there, but you just, you, you, you know. Well, Danny, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. This is, yeah, Hulesman's in the gun. He's going to throw the ball across the middle, and it's tipped, and it is going to be turned over on downs. And that is unfortunate with 6.28 to go. St. Mary's takes the ball at the 10-yard line. And, Mark, look, if St. Mary's scores here, this, this game is going to be looked at like a blowout, and you and I both know that's not the case. That's exactly, Danny. But you know what? I kind of give Coach Whirling a little bit of credit. I, you know, if we punt the football away, they're going to run a ball down our throat for the last six minutes. We're not going to get the football back anyway. Might as well take a shot at it. I yeah. kind of like the call. I, I like the fact that he's going to – and Hulesman's going to walk over there, and he's going to say, son, i got every bit of confidence in you. Fourth and ten from the ten, yeah, we're going to throw the ball. I like that. I like it. They're going to win a lot of games this year. They're going to win a lot of games this year. 6.28 to go. St. Mary's continues to lead 26-14. They're going to take the ball over uh, right in the rural first red zone at the 10-yard line as they scamper to the line. Kessler hands the ball off, and they'll go right in the middle. And that, again, is looks like uh, Osborne. Osborne, you're right, Dominic Osborne. Dominic Osborne, what a night tonight. 21 carries, 189 yards, two touchdowns, an average of nine yards a carry. Picked up three right there. Clock continues to run. We are now under the six-minute mark. 5.58 to be exact here in the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Mark Shine, bringing you week one high school action here on WOSN. We'll be back here next week again for St. Mary's Salina. They'll hand the ball off to the right side. Mabry scampers towards the goal line, and he's just short. About the two, maybe the two and a half. We'll call it the two. Volleyball tomorrow, Danny, from yes. Parkway. Six-team tournament. They play pool play and then play a, a consolation match or a second-place match, I guess, in a first-place match and be down there tomorrow. That'll air Sunday night on awesome. WOS yeah. at 7 o'clock. You so. do a great job with your volleyball well, coverage. I, I like high school sports, Danny. Somebody says, what's your favorite? No, no, can't, can't do that. No, no, no. I, I, I like them all, but volleyball is one of my favorites, of course. And I think they're going to let the clock run a bit here. I think you're right. Uh, they haven't gotten around to calling a play yet, and Kessler's still on the sideline with his coach. Yeah, the play clock's going to fall down, or go, excuse me, go down, and they are going to take a timeout. Well, we'll take a timeout here with 5.02 to go. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 26 14. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. We're back here at St. Mary's High School with 5.02 to go in this game. St. Mary's continues to lead 26-14. Got the ball all about the three-yard line as they try to put the nail in the coffin, as they say. I've got to believe, Mark, if uh, St. Mary's puts it in the end zone, we're going to get to see a lot of reserves for the Rough Riders, get some playing time tonight. And they're driving for the I don't think you got there. I don't think you got in there. That was short. awful close. Yep. Uh, we got a timeout. Looks like... Uh, yeah, St. Henry's going to take another timeout as they're trying to save some time on that clock. 
We can thank some of our sponsors tonight. The Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Also our instant replay sponsor, Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. And of course, our first down sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Duffus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your Acadian needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Well, Danny, I get people asking me occasionally, hey, how do I sponsor on your station? I'd like to be a part of one of your, of your telecasts. Call the station, 419-339-4444. And they'll put you in contact with Vicki Kaufman, Jim Tarr, somebody from the staff. And yep. if you would like to be a sponsor, either for a single game or throughout the season, we'd like to yep. have you. Mark, I got uh, actually, uh, it's funny you mentioned that, I got two businesses this week contacted me. I contacted the sales department, and boom, they got uh, their representation taken care of, and uh, everybody's happy. Fourth and goal from the one. Here we go, fourth and goal from the one. St. Mary's counting on a big stop here with 4.54 to go. They're down 26 14. They're going to 457, put 457 back on the clock. So that's exactly what they did. Not real sure why they put that time back on the clock. St. Mary's hurries to the line. They go straight up the middle and they score. Yep. Looks like another touchdown by number 24, Dominic Osborne. His third touchdown of the night, Mark. And it makes it 32 14 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Just power football that time. Went behind his big offensive line and used his leg strength to get into the end zone. Of course, the short fields really helped that time. So they'll Triplets on for the point after try. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up. And it is a good. Brady Triplet knocks it in to make it 33-14 with 4.55 to go. And Dominic Osborne has now carried the ball 23 times for 193 yards, Mark. That's unbelievable. That, that's a really good opening game, isn't it? Yeah. And Dominic they, Osborne, uh, a senior, 5'9", 175, and he is so strong but also so quick. Well, Mark, and you, we talked about it early on the broadcast. The St. Mary's averaged 350 yards a game last year, 349 to be exact. Mm -hmm. Here we set 353 with four minutes to go. And, and threw one pass. Is that one correct? pass. One it pass. was not completed, right? <laughs> no. But threw one pass. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter, but they just lined up and – and took care of business this week. I'm not real sure that if uh, if they if they had to throw, they could because yeah. you know he's a really Kessler's a really good quarterback. He does a nice job with this team. He's a really good athlete. So St. Mary's will kick off. The ball will go to the 40. And there will be some games and some times you'll see that It'll put points on sure. the board for him. Absolutely. So triplet will kick off. Ball sitting at the 40. Drew Lang and Camp back deep for the St. Henry Redskins. Well, Dominic Osborne last year, Mark, rushed for 1,258 yards, so we know what he's capable of, and a great start for that young man to start the season out. Here comes the Redskins. They'll go across the 25 to the 30 and go down about the 32-yard line. And that, again, was Drew Langenkamp as he tries to make something happen for the Redskins with 4.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Cameron Gallimore of special teams with a dove in, knocked the feet out from underneath him. As far as the 31-yard line. The WSN Score app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so you make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. Jerry Snodgrass and I will be at Finley next week as they play Lima Senior. We're looking forward to seeing a Ryan Montgomery. We yeah. got a report from Jerry that Ryan was hurt in the opening half tonight. Yeah, let's hope he's okay. Yes, hopefully get him back. Looking forward to him matching up with Janias Hall. Oh, my a goodness. A couple of gunslingers. Absolutely. So the Redskins trying to get back in this one. They'll go right up the middle. <laughs> this is our guy again, number 12 for the Redskins, Charlie Whirling. What a night he's had, Mark. Well, this time they used him as a direct snap to him, and he just ran the football. He got up to the 47-yard line, which is a 16-yard pickup. Bring up first another down. Lee's famous recipe, first down. 
been looking at that stat page. It's got all individual stats for St. Mary's. Is there an individual stat for? <laughs> nope, uh, I, nope, I tried. I okay. <laughs> Hometown score. So Whirling's going to throw deep down the left side. He's got a guy out there, and he just misses him. So Charlie Whirling in at quarterback right now as he throws the ball as far as he can down the field. And, boy, he's got a big-time arm, too, as he threw that 40 yards in the air. It's pretty easy to see why they used both of them quarterback a year ago. Of course, they've used Hillsman there for most of the football game, but that one falls incomplete. Going to bring up second and 10 from the 46. Here's Whirling again in the gun. He's going to throw to the left side, and he bounces it over, and his intended target, Carter LaGuire, misses that one. It's going to bring up third and 10 for the 46. Look at the different throwing motions. Slings he does. a little yeah, bit sidearm. Sure, sure does. You're right. What are they, 7 of 21 throwing a football today? Yes, they are. Between the two quarterbacks combined. Third down and 10. Third and 10 from the 46, 4.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Whirling in the gun. He's going to throw to the right side and almost picked off. My goodness. You saw number 12 for the Rough Riders. Number 12 was Luke Bournes as he broke on that pass, and he, he picks that one off. He walks into the end zone. You know, I think he could have picked it up. I think he chose to intentionally just stick a hand and knock it down. Right. I, I think, think you're right, yeah. I think he, he had an opportunity to make a, a play on it and get an interception. He chose to take the safe route and just knock it down. Now we're to fourth down. Fourth and ten, Morling in the gun for the Skins. They're down 33-14. He's got one back to his left. He's got trips to the left, a single receiver to the right. <laughs> Looks across the middle of the field. He's under pressure. He rolls to the right at the 40. He's going to go to the 45, to the 50, and he's going to be taken out of bounds, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. And St. Mary's has all but wrapped this one up with 4.03 to go of 33-14. Isn't it amazing? We've seen this several times now in the football game towards the end of halves or quarters or whatever. They rushed just three guys. That's right. Flushed yep. him out of the pocket. They had eight guys deep. Nobody to throw the football to. But good pressure by those three up front guys. Absolutely. 4.03 to go. I think we're going to see some new backs in I the think game. we are going to see some new backs in the game for the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Let's see who they'll bring out as their field general. So I'm looking at our stat page here. Mabry's going to end up with 100 and, what's that say there? Colton Mabry, 26 carries, 115 yards, and two touchdowns. Okay. Here come the Rough Riders as they'll go off the right side. Whole new host of characters as they've got a new quarterback in there. Aiden Minerding, junior quarterback. Six foot, 155 pound junior. You know what, Danny? I had a student teacher years and years and years ago from St. Mary's. It's pronounced minor ding. Minor ding, all right. Because right. when you're a student teacher, you get a nickname. He became Little Bell. Minor ding. Oh, oh I see what you did there. Yeah. That's why you're the best in the business. Well, that's a long time ago, <laughs> man. Minor ding. <laughs> oh, and he's look, got look out. Look out. Here we go. Is he going across the to the 15, to the 10? And another great run. And this time, number 38, Caleb Schmidt with the carry. Good to see him. You know, Caleb's had a lot of short yardage type carries. That time he popped one. He's been a devastating blocker this evening from his fullback position. Good for him. Absolutely. So the Rough Riders knocking on the door again with 3.04 to go. <laughs> Mark, they just reload. They yeah. just reload. And you know, it's 33-14. There's a chance it's going to be 40. It's, it's not been that close of a game, Dan. No, it's it, not. It, I mean, it's been no. much closer. Or yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's going to look look brutal on the, in the, the stat page when you take it home with you, but uh, it's been a lot closer football game than that. So here come the Rough Riders. His minor ding is under center. He's going to hand off the first back oh, up through the right idea. side. And that is number 38, Caleb Schmidt, and there's a flag on the play. Which is right where you call holding. Let's see what the call is tonight. So, Mark, the backs for St. Mary's, Colton Mabry with 115 yards, Dominic Osborne with 193, and Caleb Schmidt with 66 for a grand total. Are you ready for this? 393 yards. Mark, they're sitting on the 11-yard line. They punch it in here. They're going to have over 400 yards rushing. I can do the math. <laughs> Going to move this one all the way back. Well, now it's going to be more yards. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, and uh, 
with two and a half minutes to go or so in this one. You know, Mark, it, it, look, 400 yards rushing, and we we have said that the defensive line for St. Henry has not played that bad here in the no. second half. They really well, haven't. Let's, let's, let's see how this play goes. They're going to hand the ball off, go to the left side, get across the 25 to about the 20, you know, be taken out of bounds. That's number eight for the Rough Riders. That's Luke Rammel. I think it bears mentioning again this offensive line, though. Terry Ambrowski is a senior center. The two guards are Will Glass, who's a senior, as is Camden Roth. He's a senior as well. And then the tackles, Gavin Ehlers and uh, Xander Post. Xander's the only junior in the group. They're all, the rest of them are seniors. And then a pair of senior tight ends, Jack Sneathcamp and uh, Keaton Fishback. And those guys have done their job this evening as well. They'll hand the ball off to the first man off the left side. And that is, again, number 38, Caleb Schmidt. So he goes to a off the 19-yard line, and that'll put him in the rural first red zone. A question for you. Yeah. When you think of tight end, you think of a hybrid, right? I Catch do. The football, yeah, yeah. Block. In this St. Mary's office, they should be a tight tackle. Because <laughs> right. they're not going to throw the football to them, but they're going to block people like crazy. I, I believe if you're in the St. Mary's offense and they and they tell you you're a tight end, do not anticipate a lot of catches. But you're going to get a, an opportunity oh, you're gonna to play. throw a lot of blocks. <laughs> you're going to play. And those guys do a really good job yeah. at it. You're not working on the jugs gun this week. I can promise you that. Here they come again with 139 to go. They'll hand it off and go to the right side. And we got a flag yeah. down. That was number 11, Dylan Fink, the sophomore 5'7", yeah. 150 pounder. Somebody was moving a little bit, got a little anxious on that play as we're a minute and a half to go in this one, 134. You've got a big interview coming up on your radio show we on do, Tuesday, don't do. you? We do, we do, yeah. Trevor Bassett, the Olympian uh, from Bluffton, Ohio. He's been on this, he came on the show before right. the Olympics yep. and such a great guy, Mark. I called him, he was in Finland the other day when I got a hold of him. And he said, Danny, I can come on Tuesday because I'm flying from Finland to uh, England. And uh, he's all over the world right now. So just, just a great kid. Well, I'm and, looking forward to that Yeah, one. great representative. And I'll go another handoff right up the middle, and that is Caleb Schmidt. And that'll bring the clock down to the one-minute mark here in the game. St. Mary's leads 33-14. Well, partner, a good first night for us. Did a been. great job. Yeah. Stats, you're on par. And uh, appreciate all you do for us. It's a fun time of year, Danny. It I is. just love all the high school sports. You know, we had tennis and golf, whatever, going on for a couple of weeks. Volleyball started. We'll be in their second week right now. And, of course, high school football starting Thursday and Friday this week. It's a really fun time of the year. Absolutely it is. And that's going to take the clock down. Fourth and 21. And I believe they may just take a knee here with 29 seconds to go. No, they're going to run the ball. <laughs> they're going to run the ball. And St. Henry's going to get the ball on a turnover on downs with 21 seconds to go. So I'm looking at the stat page to get it updated and see exactly how many yards rushing they're going to end up with. Danny, did they update it yet? Uh, uh, nope, they're They've switched it over. They'll update it here in just a second. Okay. There we go, Mark. 405. 405. It's a good I night. Would say it's that's, a good that's a good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, that's just amazing. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. That's amazing. So, 21 seconds to go. St. Henry's going to get the ball back. And they've got one receiver to the left. They've got two to the right. They've got two backs in the backfield with Worthen. Oh, they got a new quarterback in the game. They're just going to hand the ball off. And this is number 33 as he wheels and deals for the Redskins. Going to be a first down for Isaiah Horstman. Isaiah Horstman with a nice Lee's famous recipe first down. 12 seconds to go. We're stopping the clock while we move the chains, but that's going to be the last play of the game. And that'll do it. After four quarters of play from St. Mary's High School, the St. Mary's Rough Riders win this one 33-14. Mark, your final thoughts on this game. Well, I thought that the thing I really appreciated about the football game, two things. Factor number one was St. Mary's got off to a great start, but the resilient St. Henry team hung in there. They twice got the lead back down to five. 
And both times when they did so, St. Mary's answered and came back and took control of the football game a second and third time. I, I was really impressed how both teams played at times, but you just got to give it to St. Mary's how well they played this season. Absolutely. And that'll wrap it up from St. Mary's High School. The final score tonight, the St. Mary's Rough Riders win this one 33-14. For Mark Shine, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WSN crew saying we'll see you next week. You've been watching high school football on WOSN. <laughs>